This week we're going green as I visit churches and meet with Christians who are caring for God's creation. Welcome to Songs of Praise. Now stained glass windows may be beautiful but they're often drafty and therefore not eco-friendly. But one craftsman in Bolton has been creating windows that are as sustainable as they are stunning. Josie Darby has been to meet him. Andrew Seddon has been working with stained glass for over 25 years and has produced and restored windows in hundreds of churches and homes across the UK and beyond. How sustainable is modern stained glass window making? All the glass that you can see being cut here comes from 90% recycled glass. And the lead that we use, we still use the traditional lead to, to join the windows together. And that's over 90% recycled materials as well. Traditionally, stained glass has, has always been made uh, as single glazed. Mm -hmm. But now what we can do is we can actually encapsulate this, the traditional stained glass inside a double glazed unit so it makes it like three layers with the stained glass as a centre pane. Uh -huh. So it makes for a much better insulation. And you're going to let me have a go? If you want to have a go, you can have a go. Yeah. I can't <laughs> guarantee there'll be no waste if you do, but uh, I'd love to, thank you. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. So we, we can align this carefully to the pattern on both sides and now we'll see whether we can cut this piece straight across here. Yeah. So we can use a straight edge, okay. get that lined up. So if you want to hold the straight edge there, uh, that's right. That's great. Okay. And then start as close to the far edge as you can. OK, we'll do. And you're able to explore Bible stories through your art? Definitely. So scripture is a, is a great basis for, for the start of a new, new design. Mm -hmm. Yay, ah, yeah, perfect. Brilliant. I think you have done this before. <laughs> It's a real family business, and working alongside Andrew is his daughter, Katie. She's chief glass painter and is going to show me the ropes. I have done quite a bit of painting, but mm -hmm. this is going to be very different. Yeah, glass painting is quite different. Uh, we use more of a long brush so um, we can pick up more of the paint yeah. because the paint does dry quite quickly. So you can do the trace lines and then oh, you I'm can... Oh, I'm doing the trace lines. Yeah, so then you can thicken them up. Uh, oh, so I should just be doing the outsides. Yeah. So once you've done them, you can flood it by picking up quite a lot of paint and then just putting it in the middle. Oh, I like this. I know sustainability is, is important for all sorts of reasons, but for you as a Christian, it, it's also about respecting the resources on the planet. Yeah, definitely. We weren't here to to wreck the earth, we're here to look after it. Exactly. Um, that's what we've been, we've been tasked to do. So obviously in our work, we'd like to be able to do that as well. One of Andrew's favourite commissions is in the Manchester Diocese offices. When they built a chapel so staff could go somewhere for quiet reflection, they turned to Andrew to create the focal point. It's the first window I designed after I became a Christian in 2002. Mm -hmm. And there's this one particular part of the scripture it says the Spirit of God hovered over the waters, yeah. uh, which was central to the creation story. So the Spirit of God has traditionally been depicted as a dove. And the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was given to the disciples and it was seen as tongues of flames. So I thought that having the flames as part of that image was really central to it as well. The Right Reverend Mark Ashcroft is the Bishop of Bolton and is a fan of Andrew's window. Like St James, many of the churches in the Manchester Diocese are also going for the Eco Church Awards. When people get into it, they think, oh dear, we're going to have a stick beaten over our heads. But in fact, they're really encouraging because it makes people realise that we have gone down that journey of being eco-friendly. Um, uh, but there's still more that we can do. Um, and some of the things that we can do is particularly paying attention to uh, recycling. And that's why this window is a particularly good one for us. 